Today, we're going to be talking about NFT ideas I would do if I was Emma Chamberlain famous. Some people that are included in this bubble would be Axel Weber, who is currently the new TikTok sensation with the tiniest apartment in New York. And I'll be featuring Pepperoni Muffin, AKA Kirsten. I think the reason why I wanted to make this video idea is because everybody and their mom hates NFTs. And as you guys know, I'm the founder of NF Treehouse. So we plant trees with creators and they're minted as NFTs. You know, my goal with creating this project was to do environmental good and use NFTs for a helpful use case for social impact. I just feel like right now everyone thinks NFTs are a way to get rich quick and it's a scheme for the 1%, which is true. Like 99% of projects are scams. And I do agree, but there's something so cool about the NFT and crypto blockchain communities that I really want to explain. So that's why I'm making this video. So hopefully Emma, Axel, or Kirsten, you guys watch this video and you're like, damn, I think NFTs actually have potential. So let's start with Emma. So for Emma Chamberlain, I really think she should launch an NFT collection called chamber and basically she's going to partner with all of her favorite brands obviously emma chamberlain is popular for her fashion videos so i think it should be all about clothes so she should partner with louis vuitton levi's maybe her own coffee company basically all the brands she wears and what she's going to do is oops, hold on a minute all right i got my iced chai latte Mm. I literally have the sandwich every day. It's so fucking good. Where were we? Okay, so Emma should partner with all her favorite brands. And if you buy this NFT, maybe it's a picture of her hand sketching herself. You know how like she draws herself on the podcast as like this cool like artsy abstract outline? Like she should do that as the NFTs. And it's called Chamber, right? But it's like an outline of each of her clothing pieces. And basically, if you own this NFT, not only do you have this cool art piece, but you get access to the Chamber Club, where basically you get a once a month drop of clothes, like basically products sent to your door from the brand she works with. It doesn't even have to be once a month. It could be redeemable one time a year. But for example, Adidas recently did a NFT drop where you literally buy the NFT, but you get like a tracksuit that comes with it, like a custom tracksuit for that collection. And I feel like it'd be so cool if Emma, you know, with her audience, she's young, she's female, she's Gen Z, like partnered with all these brands that were like, you know, in her taste buds, I just think people would eat that up. And maybe it'd be super cool to include like a coffee or matcha in that box as well of all her favorite brands. So it's like a chamber or like a closet full of her favorite shit. I think people forget that NFTs do have utility and it's not just an image. Like for example, NFTs can be concert tickets, they can be meetups. For example, there's an artist named Kings of Leon that literally if you hold the NFT, you get access to four VIP tickets to a concert. And I think that's super fun. So with the Chamber NFT collection, I think Emma should throw in a fun little meet and greet. I know she doesn't really do a lot of meetups, I think for her privacy reasons, but you know, if she were to be at VidCon, maybe promising a slot at a party or giving, you know, a plus one ticket to New York Fashion Week. Like I think the Chamber Club can be the ultimate fashion club of Emma, but also, get, you know, getting to hang out with her and, and getting styling advice. I feel like that'd be so cool. Tell me you wouldn't buy that. Like I would, I would buy that. Mm. I'm currently driving to the airport, which I, if you guys know living in LA is the worst activity to do, but my friend Karu asked me to pick him up to drop him off at the airport and like a good friend, State Farm is there. No, like honestly, I, I was like, okay, Karu, I love you, but you're like the only person I would literally do this for because what the fuck? <laughs> like driving to the airport is a nightmare and if you ever, if you, if you know, you know. All right, with that being said, let's move on. What I would do if I was Axel Weber launching an NFT collection. Please steal this idea, Axel. Okay, Axel, I know you are, you know, you got rejected from Juilliard. You want to go into acting. You want to go into arts. I think you should screw them. You already have an audience on TikTok. Launch an NFT collection funding your next film. Say if you own this NFT, maybe it's a cool hand drawing of your apartment or like you NFT each part of your apartment, like the pan, the bed, the piano, whatever. And maybe there's 10, only 10 of them. And basically, if you buy this NFT, you get to be one, 
helping funding my next film. So maybe you want to raise a million dollars for your next film and you can act in it and you can be your own, you know, investor. You can use your community to fund this shit. NFT holders get access to become background characters in the film. So maybe like they're the people walking around the streets, which is kind of fun and fresh. NFT holders also get access to the merch that you're going to sell with the film. And they have access to become maybe early investors in the project. Maybe they get tokens for helping fund the project. I think this should be called Fuck Juilliard. And basically the whole collection is like, well, you don't need Juilliard because, you know, Axel's a talented creator, entertainer already, and he can just directly monetize with his audience and they could get ownership. And the NFT holders can maybe govern what exactly the film looks like, what maybe the sets are, and where it's filmed. Like they can vote on where things are going. And they obviously get maybe some financial reward because maybe these NFTs in the future will have value, right? Because Axel Weber's a rising star and like maybe if you resell it, right? Like Axel gets a percentage of each sale. This is why it's so powerful to launch an NFT to not only, you know, make money, but fund a community project. I'm so passionate about this because personally for me at NF Treehouse, we're doing the exact same thing. This is why I'm making this video because we're like doing very similar methods to fund NF Treehouse. So what we're doing is we're planning 100 trees in LA. And if you have a founding tree, you get access to our events, our partners with Soho House, you get access to an exclusive NF Tree merch drop where we partner with a sustainable brand and you get cool hoodies. So not only do you get financial incentive, but you also get a fucking tree. You know you're doing good and it's a great way for people to get early. So. I fucking love that idea. Axel, I hope you do something like that. I, I really don't think you need Juilliard one. You're so talented um, and I think you're super funny. Fun fact, actually, my agency was going to work with Axel Weber on a project with Warner Brothers because we're working on a campaign with them this month. And um, his manager said no to that idea, but maybe, Daomi, if you're watching this, you'll say yes to the NFT idea because my company can maybe help you with that. I'm sorry, I have to pitch myself, I really do. I work so fucking hard in this world. <laughs> Lastly, Kirsten. This is what I would do if I was pepperoni muffin and launching an NFT collection. Again, steal this idea, please. So essentially, I think a pepperoni muffin should launch a book called To All the Boys I've Ever Loved or something you know inspired in that name. And basically, each chapter is about like a love story she has encountered, right? Because she has dated some horrendous men and some great men. And I think each chapter should be an NFT. So essentially she's, she's selling a regular book, but basically she can also sell each chapter so someone can own it. So like each boy is a chapter essentially and create a book club called like the pepperoni muffin club or like boy club or something. And essentially it's a great way for her to maybe have a once a month zoom call with her exclusive fans and talk about relationships, read a book or something in that nature. Honestly, this idea is not fully baked, but I think there's something there about like writing a book and NFTing each chapter to fund, like for example, the film version or like to, f to fund like the next sequel, right? Like I think if there's an end goal, maybe Pepperoni Muffin is into, I think she could totally succeed in it and her audience is really there for her stories. So I think a book would be such a great way to, you know, monetize, but also with the community. And I think the most powerful thing about NFTs and what I'm, why I'm such a fucking nerd about it is because, <laughs> You know, NFTs is not making money off your community. It's not literally about that. It's making money with your community, right? Like your audience, if someone buys an NFT, they have ownership. Like they can resell it and they get money, right? They get a financial incentive, but also it's like they have a, a governance on like what the creator does and like they have an exclusive relationship. So it's like literally a digital asset, right? Like it's, it's an asset that you can resell. It's also art, it's also entertainment. I think that's super fucking cool. So Pepperoni Muffin, I think you should write a book. I think you're so funny and I think it'd be really good as an NFT to build that exclusive fan base. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm about to pick up my friend Karu from the airport. So I'll let you know how that goes. Thank you for watching and shout out to comment winner. If you like this video, let me know if you want more of this. I have a million more and go follow NFT House, my NFT project that I founded that's literally gonna change the world, save the environment and do amazing things in tech. So. Go follow that page and follow me on Instagram and follow my newsletter. <laughs> um, if you want to learn more about crypto and NFTs, I do write a free weekly newsletter. It's literally free. Go sign up today in the link of the description box. It's called the creative block. It's free. Sent to your email box. Okay. Thank you guys. Bye.
I'm picking up this bitch at the airport. To picking pick, up? No. Dropping. Say again. Drop, drop. Dropping. <laughs> you don't even know how good of a friend I am for picking you up. Have you seen the meme of like people refuse to take people to the airport in LAX? I have not. True friendship is knowing that your friends would pick you up from Alex, but you care about them too much to ask for that ride. Who <laughs> <laughs> doesn't care about me? No. You know, this is a material boy and material girl. Of so course. Hi, I'm Caro. Um, I like fried chicken. Let's go, bitch.